Hello, hello, hello. This is Els coming from Beam's Crafty Corner, and today we're going to be doing these. Um, these are pin cushions. I figured since we were doing, you know, since this month we did hat pins and stick pins, that we would do some pin cushions, pretty easy, quick ones that we could do, you know, to show off our our collection. So this one has all of my stick pins in it, and this one has all of my hat pins in it. And I can tell you that both of these were thrift store finds, and they were about a buck a piece, you know, a dollar. Um, and with just some scrap of fabric and some lace and things that I already had around the house, I was able to make both of these. Now, they are made in different styles. Uh, this one, because it has a ruffle on it, if you want to do the ruffle, there's a different technique for this. But if you just want to, you know, have the pin cushion, then by all means, uh, this would be an easy way to do this. Either way, they kind of start out the same, okay? The only difference is this one's soft and this one's hard. Okay, so I'm going to get out all of the supplies and I'll be right back to show you what we're going to need to put these together. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is this one here. This is the one that I made for the stick pins. This is the hard topped one. So uh, we're going to go through that project list first. First, you need a cup. Okay, this one's got a little chip in it, but that's not a big deal. Now, on the original one, I noticed there was some gold leafing on the cup that had come off. So I just took my gold paint pen and I just reapplied that gold on there and you don't have to do that if you want to just leave it the way that it is it's entirely up to you this one I think I'm probably going to leave you're going to want some ribbon or lace now for this I used ruffled ribbon but you could use straight ribbon if you want to that works as well you're going to need a small piece of chipboard that's just as big as the top end of your cup that you're using you're going to use a piece of fabric that's like 10 by 10 inches you just want it to be about an inch to two inches wider than your cup in diameter. You're going to need some string, uh, well, thread and a needle. I'm using quilting thread because it's thicker. I have a pen, some scissors, a piece of string to help me make my circle, and a foam ball. Now the foam ball, you're going to have to cut this uh, using, I recommend a bread knife. So you're going to want to cut this someplace other than in your house because once you start cutting styrofoam, whoa. Okay. Uh, and then a hot glue gun. You're going to want one of those. Okay, so that's everything we're going to use for this one. I will be back in just a few seconds and I will show you where we're going to get started on this once I kind of get everything that I don't need at this moment out of the way. All right, so the first things we're going to do is we're going to start with the foam ball. And what I do is I put it in and there's a natural seam on it. So I kind of try and put that seam in. And then I'm going to take a marker. And I'm just going to kind of trace around this roughly. And if I get anything on the cup, that's okay because I can wipe it off with alcohol. Because I'm, you know, I'm not using a, a permanent marker here. Okay? Not that that's going to show anyway. So I've got kind of a line around my foam ball. And then what I use is I use the bottom of the cup to uh, create the inside. A circle and then I use the top of my cup to create the outside of my circle all right so now I'm gonna get these all cut out When I cut this, I'm going to cut it right at the outside of the line. And then when I'm cutting this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the inside circle out and the outside. So I'll start just by cutting out the outside circle. And this does not have to be perfect. This is going to become the base that affixes the ball to the top of the cup. And then I just need to cut out the center piece. The easy way to do that is to just put it all through it. 
and then just go in with my scissors and kind of cut to my line and then just cut that around. You can use a craft knife for this if you want to. I find it's a little hard to get started, but once you get started, no problem. And this doesn't have to be perfect either, but this is going to be what allows the pins to go all the way through to the bottom. All right, I'm gonna get my foam cut and I'll be right back. All right, so now I have cut the top off of my piece of foam and I'm gonna put that to the side, I can use it again. All right, so now I have my mounting piece and I have the ball that goes on top and I'm gonna be putting some lace in there but I need some fabric for this. So, we're gonna bring in the fabric and what I do is I fold it in half like this and then I fold it in half again. I'm gonna find that midpoint right there, okay? So that's my midpoint right there. All right, now I have to draw a circle. So what I do is I take my marker and a piece of thread, which I tie onto my marker. Now you could do this with a plate if you had a plate. You could certainly do this with a plate. And I just kind of find out where my furthest point is here, which is gonna be right here. And that's where I hold my string. And then I just kind of put dots, because this doesn't have to be perfect, around. Does not have to be perfect. All right. And then with this still together, I'm just going to kind of cut following those dots. Basically, all I'm doing is taking the edges off of this. Doesn't even have to be perfectly round. Okay. But you can see I get a pretty good circle out of that. Now, is where the sewing comes in. We're going to be using white thread so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take a nice sized piece of thread off of here, thread my needle, put my two ends together, tie a knot in the end, just like you would for anything else. Now don't freak out on me, my non-sewers. We're not going to be doing massive sewing here, guys. This is quite literally going to be little kids sewing. All right, so starting on the inside, I'm just going to do the up down thing about a centimeter, half a centimeter from the edge, all the way around this piece. Okay. So again, up and down, up and down, up and down, staying pretty close to the edge and keeping my stitches under a centimeter apart, up and down, up and down, up and down, all the way around till I get to the end. Now as soon as I'm done with that, I'll be right back to show you the next step in this process. So I sewed all the way around and this is important. You can see my thread goes in and comes out on the same side of the fabric. You don't want to have one with thread coming out the other end, okay? 
and we're just going to start drawing this up. Kind of spreading out our ruffling. And then we're going to put our foam piece in with the flat side towards us. And then we're just going to draw this all up, making sure that we keep the foam in there. just get it around there and you can you know mess with it a little bit move it around and get your ruffles straight where you want them to be and then you're going to pull this nice and tight and you're just going to make a square knot okay Now, if you're uncertain or you just want that little added security, you could just take a couple of stitches, just put your needle in on one side and go across and pull it through on the other side. Pull that a little bit tighter. And that'll help you to kind of seal that up a little better. It's not great sewing. This is literally just in and out, okay? And when you have it sealed the way you want, just go ahead and tie a knot. See, I was smart. I didn't cut my tail off. And then I'm going to go ahead and clip my threads. Now I have the top. Okay, so on the original one, we used the ring. And what we did was we put hot glue around here and we glued the lace onto the ring and then we hot glued the base on top of that and then this whole structure gets glued to the top of the cup of the cup as you can see that's what I have here I have some chipboard the lace and then the top piece now if you want to do this directly into the cup you can get rid of the ring you don't need it what you do need to do though is you need to kind of push in a little bit on the bottom here the cut edge of your foam to compact it and then you're going to use your hot glue and you're just going to put your hot glue around the edge of your cup and then put your lace on and i like to start kind of at the handle and work my way around. Okay. And what I did here is I pre-measured my lace so that it's you know about the size of my cup and that it overlaps a little bit and the reason that I want it to overlap is so that I don't have a gap in the back here so I'm going to come all the way to the end and then I'm going to find kind of that spot where I want to terminate that and then I'm just going to put my hot glue right over the top and drop my lace right on there okay Now this will take a few seconds to dry. We can kind of dry fit our piece in there. And then what I do is I go around and I just quickly put a bead of hot glue on the top of my lace. And I'm a little generous with this.
and then I take my piece put it where I want it and I'm not going to push it too much I don't want it to go through but I'm just going to kind of hold it where I want it to be keep in mind it's hot glue so it's going to stick to you just roll it off and any of your strings of course you can get rid of those later with your heat gun or blow dryer if you don't have a heat gun blow dryer will work as well and there is your lace and you see I got a little bit of hot glue on there just pull it off it's a wonderful thing about hot glue it comes right off and there's your lace for your piece and then you can just use this to put your stick pins in okay now remember if you want to put something in the base here you could put in poly filling and you can also put in these poly pellets uh, you could also put in rice or dried beans or lentils whatever you have that you like to use to weight things down that's it guys all right so to make the second one uh, this one is a little bit easier to do and you can use anything you want for this one um, because I found a bunch of them I'm gonna be using another cup So I do have another uh, one of these little pearl cups and I think they're just stinking cute so that's what we're gonna use and I'm gonna peel the price tag off and so we're gonna be using that pair of scissors we're gonna be using a piece of fabric about 10 by 10 inches should do it for most of your average teacups and again I'm gonna be using my marker and my awl to make my marks Now, if you wanted to use like a dinner plate or something, you could certainly do that. Entirely up to you. But we want something that's about two inches, you know, on either side of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you know, you could just kind of eyeball this if you wanted to and then just kind of draw out about two inches. It's up to you how you want to do this, all right? I will show you that as well because you know hey we got to right so basically what I have here is I have a cup that's about three inches across so if I put this at the half inch mark on the fold and I put the edge of the cup over there I am now halfway on and all I have to do is dot around cup then cut my dots all right so now in the interest of saving some time I went ahead and stitched this around exactly like we did with the first one all right um, the only difference here is that we are going to begin to create basically a bowl you know And this one we're just going to fill with polyfill because this is the soft one. So we're just going to fill it. And then we're going to close it. And once I get it closed, I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot here. Okay. And once this is closed up, I can take a couple of stitches across the bottom if I want to, just to kind of pull it together, but I really want this one to be poofy. So I'm just gonna put a few square knots in this, and I'm gonna snip off the threads, okay? Then we're gonna bring in our cup. I got a bunch of these cups. Um, 
and we're just going to put this in there. Now we can fill this again, you know, if we want to put the beads in there or, or you know, some polyfill, whatever we want to put in, we can put into the bottom. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to kind of smoosh it in. Till we have it where we want it and how we want it to look. Now, at this point, if you want to make this permanent, you can kind of pull it back, put a little hot glue and let it go. Or you can just leave it just the way it is and that'll allow you to take this out from time to time and you can just throw this in, uh, just throw it in some cold water and wash it up real quick and then just let it drip dry. So you're just gonna push it in. Now, for those of you that don't want to sew this, you could make the circle larger, bring it together, put a rubber band or a string around it with your polyfill and then push it into your cup and glue it down at the bottom. I like a nice big poofy top on mine, so I'm going to leave that sitting up like that. And that's it, guys. That is our hard and soft pin cushions. These are the original ones. And remember, I took the pins out of them so we could actually see them. So that's what they look like. That's it, guys. Listen, if you haven't done so already, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the red button for me and subscribe. Like me, ring my bell, and share me with all of your friends. And then your friends can be my friends, and my friends can be your friends, and our friends can get to be friends. And you know, that is what a community is all about, guys. Until I see you again, stay safe. Bye-bye.